Hello, I am going to share some thoughts with you today um, that I've been mulling on, that I've been sitting with God and thinking about and hopefully they will be of um, comfort, encouragement, maybe a bit thought provoking in these very unusual times that we're in. I've been reading a book over the last week called Intentional Mentoring by Paul Wilcox. I'm about to do a course in coaching and mentoring and this was one of the books that we were uh, asked to read. It's proved a very timely read. Um, one of the things he uses an, as an example of mentoring is the story in John 21, John chapter 21, where Jesus has died and has risen to life again and his disciples are at a loss of what to do. They find themselves in a very, very unusual time and what they do is they revert to normal. They go back to what they're familiar with and they go back to their fishing boat. And it kind of struck me that where they were was not dissimilar to where we are now. They'd walked with Jesus, they'd partnered with him and now they were in a place where no one knew what to do next because he'd gone. Their normal lifestyle that they'd had with him was no longer possible and life couldn't really return to normal after that three years of being with him. And so the nearest to normal they could do was go back to their old work. And Jesus meets them in that place of, what do we do now? Let's do what we're familiar with. And in the times of unfamiliarity around us, Jesus is still there and wants to come and meet with us. Bring reassurance, have conversations with us. He had a great conversation with Peter. Peter was still struggling with the fact that he'd denied knowing Christ for fear of being executed himself. And Jesus had a conversation with him there on the beach and enabled him to, as the writer here says, lift that cloud of denial, the feelings of guilt and restore that relationship that he had with his Lord. Perhaps God wants to do that for you today. Perhaps some of us have got restoration we need doing to our relationship with God. Uh, he has a plumb line. Scripture describes it as a plumb line. Maybe we need to realign ourselves today with his plumb line. And to sit with him. To seek him out. For no other reason, with no other agenda other than to be with him. Our focus is so easily taken to the headlines, the news, media outlets, and that can fuel feelings of uncertainty, uh, even fear. And I want to encourage you today to look to Jesus, focus on him. He wants to look you straight in the face, eye to eye contact, to bring his peace and his presence, his reassurance, his forgiveness, if needed today, like Peter, so that we can connect and receive from him. Ask him for his refreshment. Ask him to give you eyes to see and ears to hear all that he has for you just today.
Lord, I want to pray for each one of us that we would reconnect with you today, that we would be able to look to you, find your face and look you in the eye and receive all that you have for us today. Help us to keep our focus on you, to lift our eyes and see you over all this uncertainty and uncharted territory that we are now finding ourselves in. Remind us afresh that you are Lord of all things. Sometimes I find reading a piece of scripture over several times helps to bring comfort, bring reassurance, remind us again of who we are in Christ. And I would commend Ephesians chapter one to you. I would commend the reading of that chapter maybe several times. Read it slowly, mull on the words and let them sink into your spirit. Let them sink right into your innermost being and let them strengthen you and revive you and give you fresh hope. 